Hello everyone, it's Cash here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to script a home store in Roblox Studio. So let's get started. First of all, go ahead and go to plugins in your Roblox Studio and go to Rig Builder. It might be somewhere else here, but you should be able to find it quite easily. Go ahead and add a block rig. And if you want to have it on something else like a man rig, you can have it on here too. It doesn't really matter what you do, it's just going to look different. You can have an art, uh, art throw, whatever you want. Um, now, I say the best if you want it to, like if you're doing a girl one, do a woman one, because the girl ones usually are the most appealing for, you know, girl home stores. And it looks just a lot better. You can do mesh rigs, which are these guys. And they look pretty cool, so I think I'm going to do it with this one. Okay. Now what we're going to do is add a shirt. And pants. Into the dummy. And then we can call both of them shirt and the pants, pants. Now that we have that done, we're going to have to get the ID for them. So go ahead to your avatar or... Uh, go to create with your shirts and then you can just select the IDs by pressing and going uh, to opening these in a new tab copying the ID right here and then putting it into wherever you want so this is pants template and it looks like this alright and I mean that's how it looks pretty cool I guess then we can go to the shirt, copy the ID, putting it in shirts, in the shirt, shirt template. And then you can even change the skin color if you want by adding a body colors. Then you can change it to whatever you want. Now that we finished that, we can even change the name of the dummy to outfit uh, or old school, something like that. Whatever you want your theme to be, you can change it. You can even add a GUI to make it look good. And uh, there's going to be a bunch of stuff that you can do with this. If you change the humanoid, you can change the display distance and all that and stuff like that. But, you know, the basic stuff. Um, now we're going to add a click detector right here and then we're going to add a value and the value is going to be um, which or how much robux it is or whatever id it is so under the shirt we're going to add a int value actually not an int value my bad a string value and we're going to call this shirt id now, if you only want it to equip the shirt, I'm going to show you that too, but this is just to um, buy. So, or you can name it to product ID, which is better. And those are going to be the two things. Now, the product ID is going to be uh, what you're going to pay for it. So, since it's only going to be the shirt on this one, we can delete this one and it just be the shirt so we can get rid of the legs and everything like that but uh, for now I'm going to show you guys how to equip it how to just make a, an equipper for the clothes so if they want to try it out so since we have this click detector that's going to be what they're going to use to change their clothes so go ahead and go to server script service and create a new script and then you can go ahead and call this change clothes okay now uh, we're going to create a for loop so for iv in pairs game get descendants and game dot workspace do then if V is a shirt, 
or v actually no 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 my bad my bad we're gonna do if v dot name equals click detector or it could do is a click detector then v dot mouse click connect function player and then local outfit or local care which is character equals v dot parent then we're going to do um oh yeah local shirt equals car dot shirt and local pants equals car dot pants and then we're going to do uh, player dot character which will have a variable for this local player character or player car equals player dot character and we got the player parameter up here so then local player shirt equals player care dot shirt or find first child shirt and the reason we're doing find first child is because if it was not a player uh, shirt then it would or if a player did not wear a shirt so if like you know how you can't wear shirt or you can take off your shirt or whatever in roblox or you can take off your pants or whatever that would be for find first child so find first child doesn't give you an error whenever you just type it in so it assumes to find one and then we can do something like this where you could detect if there's a shirt so if player shirt then then we can also do another one if player pants then and in the player shirt we're going to do player shirt dot shirt template equals shirt dot shirt template copy this put it right here and just change everything to pants that says shirt So then after that, what you're gonna do is practically just in the entire function. So if we go ahead and try this. Let's go over to this old school guy. And it changes our clothes to the person. But what we can also do is if they don't have a shirt, then we can add a shirt and then do this again. So, else local player shirt equals instance dot new shirt player character, and then do the same thing for the pants. All right. After you do that, we can just copy the one that's above it. and then we'll be pr pretty much finished. And then we can also just duplicate these guys. And then we can change the outfits to regular and then go find the new IDs. So let's find the one I wanna use. Uh, we'll use this shirt and we'll also use wool red shirt and khakis so copy the khakis put it in the pants section go to the wool red shirt put it in that section and then we have the two outfits we can go ahead and press play check this out uh, so let's say we want to change our character to this guy we have that or this one we have that it's as easy as that guys uh, if you guys want to download this project all you have to do is go in the description down below and I'm going to save this file you guys can also get it in my discord so I'll see you guys in the next one bye